What's going on everybody, Soliaka here. And this video is coming from the Goog Squad. And most of you probably won't know of this channel. Um, I actually got introduced to this channel. Um, if you don't know, I I went to Costa Rica. I've, I've been a surfer in my, in my day. And a lot of what he was doing, he was going to Puerto Escondido. He was doing a lot of stuff around the state of Florida. You know, chasing hurricane swells. He does a lot of things on his channel. The one thing about his channel, He's got a lot more than me. But the one thing about this video is that he actually did some investigative journalism and it didn't get any traction. As you can see, I think it's got like, as of the timing of this video, it's got about 66,000 views, somewhere around there, 67,000, which isn't a bad number, great. But he's got five over five million subscribers and maybe it's not their cup of tea but it's my cup of tea because this is right up my alley. And this is going to involve a council member, a council member that brandishes a firearm, the police that don't do nothing about it, and guess what? All they and these dictators on their council just do what they want. So this is very similar to Clearwater. Please make sure you go all the way to the end. Leave a comment on not only my channel, but leave a comment on the Goog Squad's channel. His link will be in the description below. And go over there, subscribe to him if you want. But leave him a comment, let him know the Armed Fisherman sent you. And let him know that I would love to meet up with him and go to one of these Bel Air Shores council meetings. So, let's get it. Let's get into this video. Just a hippie with a peace pipe and a dream. A really, 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 really good history of investigative reporting. Wanted to grab. Given a $116 ticket. My umbrella, I've had it for years and years, and I've used it in different places, different beaches. Bel Air Shore says the change was made in, quote, in the best interest of the health, safety, and welfare of the community. <sighs> it gets really exhausting covering these council people in, I, I don't get it. They are giving people tickets for bringing umbrellas now to a beach. $116 if you bring a beach to Bel Air Shore. Oh, this is, it, hold on. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Hold on, there's more. But attorney Joseph Manzo, who's now filing two lawsuits on this topic against the town, thinks the 73 beachfront residents who call Bel Air Shore home want to keep their view and their beach as private as possible. They got a view 24 seven. All we want is some shade protection from the sun. Manzo says 48 people from the town over Bel Air Beach are backing his lawsuit. And this is just insane. I want you to stick to this all the way through the end because there's a lot that goes on, especially on the beach. There are already laws put in place for the beach. But we're going to find out how this council member and all this transpires. And trust me, it's going to get a lot more interesting because firearms get involved with it. So stick to the end. Many moons ago, Jack off and his friends kicked off and got kicked. Jack and his friends got kicked off of the beach that they've lived at their entire lives by a dude who just moved in. Somehow he's already on the city council and he's called the cops over a hundred times for people using the beach outside of his house. He literally called the cops on a family for having an umbrella over a baby. And I did some investigative journalism as well and I found out that none of the council members are actually even paid. They just, they do it because they want to and because they live on this beach they get to create all the laws that govern the beach. So this is gonna get really deep, really quick. And after our last episode, he hasn't stopped. He's continued to call the cops on people and mermaids alike. And the craziest thing about all this is that you haven't liked the video yet. We're doing some serious investigative journalism and putting our lives on the line to create entertaining content for you guys and to save our town. If that's not worth a like, I don't know what is. As I'm sure you saw in the intro, this guy brandished a firearm, which is illegal. And I know a lot of you have been wondering, what ended up happening with him brandishing a firearm? 
threatening us with a weapon. Well, absolutely nothing. Imagine that. Just imagine the the sheriffs, Pinellas County sheriffs, and I, you know me, I already have a problem with Pinellas, but Pinellas County didn't do anything about this guy saying he had a firearm, but you know, I don't know, I, I, if it was me, they would have wrote my ass off to jail, but because it's a council member, rules for thee, not for me, right? <laughs> and I think that that's kind of the main problem here now, especially considering what happens later in the episode. Jack began investigating deeper into the local city ordinances and state laws, spending many hours and even days making phone calls. Hello, I was just looking to get the public record of the last time a survey was done for the Mean High Water Line. And then what he's referencing here, median water line. And that's basically where the ocean pushes all the way up to high tide and where it pushes down to low tide. And then let's just say, whenever you're, if you, next time you're on the beach, notice where there's a line of seaweed. Where that line of seaweed is public property because nobody owns the ocean. So that where that seaweed line is where the public can be. Nobody owns that property. Even if you go to all the way to the people's seawall, technically people can't own the beach. They can own the property that's on the beach, but they don't own anything on the beach. But here, that's not the case. Their case is, we have a million dollar home here on this beach and we don't want you here. We don't want anybody to obstruct our view of our beach and it's not their beach. Th this is a state law. I just had a couple questions regarding it and regarding um, some of the rules around Bel Air Shores and I just wanted to be crystal clear because uh, nobody seems to be able to answer any of my questions. So if you could give me a call back, I appreciate it. Thanks. I don't think they're going to answer my calls. Is that the dude that kicked us off the beach and brandished a firearm at us is on the city council. I didn't think it was true. I've come to realize that he is actually on the city council. Basically, he has influence. And this could be a reason why the cops did nothing about him brandishing a firearm. Sounds like the same thing that's going on in Clearwater. The mayor or the council, whatever they say, the police have to enforce. So, uh, this isn't shocking for me, but like I said, stay all the way to the end. There's something special coming. People over the internet, I need your help. Most importantly, I need your umbrellas. This could be the most important thing that you do all week. The city of Bel Air Shores has literally kicked hundreds of people off the beach over the last few months over using umbrellas or sitting too high on the high tide line. It's a real thing. Umbrellas are banned and they're even removing people from below the high tide line, which is considered public property. The cops have no idea how to enforce it. And every time I try to go to the city and ask them for the mean high water line survey, the last time it was done so that I can exactly determine the property line between public and private property, I just get ran around in a circle. You guys have no, how, you guys have no idea how many people I've been on the phone with. I've gotten no answer. Answers. And my point is this, if they can remove hundreds of people from the beach, shouldn't we know why? Shouldn't we be able to educate ourselves on the property rules when it comes to public and private property? Shouldn't the cops have any idea what they're talking about when they remove all these people because they don't? So I'm suggesting an umbrella party tomorrow. Why? Because they can't sunburn all of us. They can't give all of us cancer. So do the right thing. Share this on your story. Bring your umbrella. Cops were everywhere. They were waiting pepper spray tasers and guns in hand for these absolute menaces to society to do something reckless like prevent skin cancer. Are you guys starting to understand how ridiculous all of this is? We, we felt like we accomplished something. Um, we did not yet. Um, the cops came back. We assumed that because he could brandish firearms at us, that, that was a place where we could hang out and not get in trouble for having umbrellas because if he can threaten people with a gun we should be able to not get skin cancer that seems perfectly reasonable no it's not the cops came um, regarding our umbrellas and I got a ticket 
And all it takes is one council member to sit there and pass these garbage ordinances and they don't even know the laws and the in the sheriff's county don't even know the laws that they're trying to enforce but because they're council members they it's like they have to do whatever these council members tell them oh kick them out of the meeting oh kick them off the beach for for an umbrella like what kind of upside upside down world are we living in this guy's on the uh bel air uh, bel air beach City of Commission, City Councils, yeah. So he's been fighting for the umbrella rights for a long time, but Bel Air Beach and Bel Air Shores are two different things. And the Bel Air Shores people are not very nice. So we're gonna go to apparently the guy who started this ordinance. His house is down here. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys in six blocks. State land can't come within 25 feet of their seawall, apparently, because he did like 500 hours of research, more than, I mean, I did a couple hundred, but it's very tricky, it's a very sticky situation. And um, you better believe, at the very least, we don't get to the bottom of it, okay? How's Jack. it going, man? Nice Bob to meet you. Bob was the second guy who got a ticket for using the umbrella. He was basically right like, here. you want to do it? Ticket me, right? Wow. So this guy, it was him and Pete Rodero. Uh -huh. And um, we've got both I saw of the charges news segment. dismissed. Yep. Nice. But um, he was one of the courageous ones who actually said, no, I'm not taking this crap. So this is Bob. So, I'm also not taking this crap. Not he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. And what I love about this is that, guess what? He's standing up for something that he believes in, just like anybody. And same thing with Clearwater. If anybody ever wants to come to the next Clearwater meeting, I believe it's on March 7th. Come on out to March 7th. Come out with something that says fuck something or whatever. If you want to come and get kicked out of a council meeting in Clearwater and, and get your grievances out, please. And just like this guy, he is... You know, he's trying to make a point about how stupid this law is. And it's over an umbrella. This is crazy. This is so crazy, it's almost unbelievable. Well, let's keep going. We're in front of the guy's house that put in these rules along with uh, the mayor's house as well, who I spoke to the other day. He was a nice gentleman, but I don't know about these rules. I don't know if I like them. I know you guys don't like them. So we might as well not like them together. This was the point in which we felt like we had won. But right when I went to get waters for all the people that showed up for the umbrella party, the cops showed up. So, now hold on a second. You asked me to yeah. explain, okay. Yeah, yeah. So now there is a little part there right, that the public access is actually up to the water line yeah. and a little bit higher, kind of kind of do like wet. Yeah. Well, but the problem is, is that on any of the beach on Bel Air Shore, there is no uh, canopies or tents allowed. So now there's one exception to that, and that is at the accesses, which is owned by the city. The city says you can have... Uh, what if we're below the high tide line with the yeah. canopies? No, no, no canopies what? from property line all the way back. Uh -huh. except for where the city owns the property. Okay. If the city owns the property, canopies can be up there, except for these type, it has to be uh, no bigger than seven and a half. Is this allowed to be down below the high tide line? No, it's not. But yeah, that's public that property. Like a barge. Wouldn't that be public property though, boats, below high not, tide line? We don't enforce boats. Yeah. So um, actually the way the uh, city and county is with the state, mm -hmm. it actually does go into the water line. Okay. So Only because you haven't done a survey since 2021. Well, that's that's up that's up to that's up to the city. That's why we're here. State. Isn't that what you're enforcing? You? But yeah. Here, yeah, and that's fine. You can bring it up to them. Uh -huh. but, that's why we're here. But for <laughs> for our purpose, okay, because the city ordinance, we're not we're talk, talking about high water tide or where you guys are allowed to be. Uh -huh. We're talking about canopies. Well, you know how okay. bad skin cancer is. I, you know, it's yeah, one of the I, leading causes of death. I, again, I you realize how not, silly this law is. That's not. I know it's not, it's not yeah. you, I don't, but we're doing this—we're doing this to make this an issue for you because you have to understand how silly this is. Again, we're I, here okay. with umbrellas yeah. for the shade of the sun. Yeah. Like I, you guys know your uniforms. How hot are you guys all day in the sun? 
It's hot. Um, so, helps, right? so, and we also so what I'm asking room. for now, yes, sir, because we, we get your point where we're at, where we're at. Um, asking that you just move over right here to Indian Rocks, uh -huh. and you're good to go all what day if, long. If, if you if, want, if you want these up, okay. If you want these up, yeah, okay. If you keep these up, which I don't want to do, yes, there are citations that we have to issue, okay, that I don't want to do. Okay. These are not allowed. How that far would the tent have to go out for it to be allowed to be there? Uh, yeah. These are cool. This is what this yeah, is what I'm what curious doing. about so, because I can nobody can you. explain this to me. So yeah. I yeah. Can explain something? Yes, sir. On the 18th, they have a city commission meeting in Miller Plus. Your best bet is to go, talk go to there. And, okay. That's what I would do. That that way, what you're going to do is you're going to get all the information you need. That way, you know what is in the law, what's not in the law, what you can and can't do. Okay. Out of curiosity, how what's the fine per shade structure? So right now it's a hundred dollars per, sa okay. per shade. Okay. And just this one? That one. Anything, anything over seven and a half feet. Seven and a half feet in diameter. Okay, I, I, would, I would like to keep this one if that's okay. Do I still have to remove it after the citation? Yes. yes. What, what's the what, what's the next step after that if I decided? Write me, just keep writing them until I eventually leave. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to educate the public. Nobody, nobody really knows what, what where the line is, so we're trying we're out here to try to determine that. From what I was so what I was told and where I was what I wrote. Uh, what they had explained to me and what we read was uh -huh. that we the shades are the only Everybody issue. Yes, yeah, sir. Because I guess All when right, they we're gonna make it the seven feet, guys. So when, it's real, real. <laughs> no, when they when they created the ordinance, it was so that it wasn't blocking the view of the people who have bought this because this is the only beach that owns all their property. Understand? Right, so that's the whole reason. I guess whenever you've got you're the rich, you get to do whatever you want. Forget all the peons, forget all the, the, the other people. It's only rules for the rich and famous. The people that have all this money or that are on council chambers and council meeting or... This makes my blood boil because these people are the problem with America. They think they're better than us and they're no different. We, well, in this, in this place, I don't even think they're elected. I don't know what the deal is in this place, but they think that because they bought property on the beach, they own the fucking beach. This is fucking ridiculous. This is stupid. I can't, I can't wrap my head around this. And guess what? Bel Air Shores, you're going to get a visit. And I'm going to find out if I'm allowed to fish on your beach. Because if I'm allowed to fish on your beach, oh, it's going to be a really, really nice day. I'm going to love every second of it, too. But it's not over. I've been calling the city. I've gone into the city hall, and I've asked them to see the Mean High Water Line. Go on the 18th. Okay. Because that, they're... If they don't answer your questions, yes. then they, that's where your voice is heard. Yes, sir. Like, right now, obviously, we're out here. We're just your having some fun. We're just trying to get yeah. to the bottom of it. So, yeah. if you take it down, I don't care. Take it down, stay here, play. I don't care. That's not what it's about. I would like to leave one up and have one ticket, please. Okay. Well, give us a minute. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. you have an idea or anything on here? I do not. I got a ticket! And I commend them for taking the ticket. It wasn't really necessary. I don't know exactly if there's, for me, I feel like this is against his First Amendment right to be, out, be able to do this. I can't sit here and definitively say this is a First Amendment violation, but I definitely know that this ordinance is garbage. And the only way to get this ordinance changed is by showing up, expressing your grievances towards this friggin' these council members and especially the guy that lives right there on the beach. I don't know his address. I can't tell you where this is. I just know that he lives on Bel Air Shore somewhere. And if you go out there with a canopy or an umbrella, the police are coming. So just stay tuned all the way to the end. We're going to get to the bottom of it one way or another. Move along. Thank you. What you need to get and um, we, had a, a we had an issue with somebody brand new. Property owner, like, right, directly out here, came out and uh, told us that we had to leave and we were below the high tide line. And then the police came, and after the police left, 
he said, just so you know, I'm always carrying a gun. And uh, I have a concealed weapons license where I did when it actually mattered. And I know for a fact that you're not allowed to tell somebody that you have a firearm as a way to intimidate them. Yeah, you're not concealed. Yeah, you're and not. I went and I told a couple officers about that, but I don't think we ever got charged or anything ever happened with that. So okay. I just been bringing it up again because I still got no answers. Now, was it there? Did you see it? Was it? Um, there was a bulge and he pointed down to his hip. Okay. So I'll say this, you should have been investigated at the time. Yes, sir. Okay. It's, I can't go back and reinvestigate because sure. I, like, we, we filmed yeah. it too. We yeah. had him on video okay. saying that and we uh, submitted that via email. Via email? Yeah. Yeah. So like the thing is, is but I did you call us at the time it happened? Or did, um, it wasn't later on? It was on? the next morning. Okay. So Because we didn't realize we had it on video. Okay. Even if it's not on video, uh -huh. call us. Okay. And the reason being is it's harder for us to play catch up than it is for us to come out there and go, oh, what do you got? Oh, you do have it. Oh. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Then if you would have seen that he yes. did have a gun. Okay. Because now it's, yeah, you have him on video and you go, yeah, I said it. But then guess what? Oh, that was just a phone. Or that was this. We have no way to prove it. or So it's, it's, it's harder. Yeah. Okay. So. And you heard it. <clears throat> like I said, the, the, the guy, the council member that owns the house on the beach came out, tried to intimidate them by saying he had a gun and this, that, and the third, and never got investigated. And... and I am not criticizing uh, Jack about this. I am just saying this is crazy how ironic, right? It's crazy how something happens like this and they still don't investigate it. Yeah, I, I just, for me, this council member, he needs to be exposed, he needs to be put on blast, and he needs to quit. And you know some you probably should go to jail or at least friggin get some kind of some kind of accountability for the things that he's been doing. But we'll see how far that goes. So something that's important for context is in the original video we have this clip, but I didn't include the full interaction after this, mainly because my friend was yelling he has a gun over and over again and I didn't think that that was needed. I didn't think that that was gonna help the video be monetized, I figured it might get it age restricted, but now I'm realizing it's important, so I'm gonna show you guys the full clip. Ask a little nicer for you just to move with the alcohol and explain that I don't want it around my kids. Yeah, yeah you would've like kicked us out even if we didn't have alcohol. And even Actually, we... I, I wouldn't have. Yeah, well you kicked I, two I, of I my know. friends off the beach earlier who were two girls that were sitting here sun tanning. So I didn't actually I didn't kick them off. I asked them to move down and yeah, well, let's what's just let's the chat about what's that. What's the difference? The difference is is that if you're sitting and they were no no how come you're saying you came at us because of alcohol but then the two girls who were tanning and i asked them to move down okay there was a group of four of them okay i asked them to move down the same way i asked you guys to move down but they were up there and we were walking out with everything and they were actually blocking the exit to my uh, entrance there so we couldn't get out you should move board. into the middle of the woods get uh, like we, 50 people acres should just be respectful of other people's property oh uh, yeah you moved here a year ago i think you know nothing about beach etiquette and respect if you're asking me yeah, we're the locals, by the way. Yeah, I was born here. Hey, I've lived here for 28 I've, I've years. I've seen you guys one time. I've lived, yeah, how I'm long you live here, bro? I'm saying I haven't seen you guys. Look, you I lived now. here for 28 years. I appreciate this that. is the first the way, time. Man, I, I get it. It's, first it's time elevated, ever. But first time I ever got you. Had we, it may have went differently. They got it rough. I, I know they do. This is one of nine uh, seven man dollar houses I have, but they, they got it rough. Either way, you guys have a good no one. one cares Welcome about to the Neighborhood, my man. I care. That's why I bought it here. How many you got? <laughs> that doesn't mean you get to I'm treat, learn more treat from, people like from a dick. You and your attitude and the way you're handling it, and I'm gonna conduct myself more like that in the future. I'm just trying you're to make more, sure you do this like, again. Your energy is more not like gonna mine. change we his mind, mind right now. <laughs> yeah. These energies yeah. here is how you change things. Good. Well, that, we did change it. It really is. It is. I appreciate their energy. Yours reminds me of me. You called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. You get no excuse. Are you carrying? right now yeah, yeah. Oh, always got a gun dude you always got to have a gun target. leave leave it alone Robert. officer he's got a gun <laughs> they don't yell that out dude, dude he's got a gun what the he hell? said Robbie he wrong. does he's got a gun what the hell? Oh, then get the out of here dude, go fast dude are you that's that's appropriate yeah your energy you don't so get to say that man. to me what happened to these guys you don't get to say that to me the sooner you go, Robbie, the Robbie, better you're off not you'll helping, be. Helping, bro. You can't I'm act not like that, man. To carry a gun? You're not allowed to tell me about it. I can. I can. You asked me if I had a gun. I legally carry a gun. I didn't carry ask gun. you. You did. You called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too.
tell me about it. I can, I can, you asked me if I had a gun. I legally I didn't ask gun. you. You did. You did you ask me. You said I always have a you gun. You said, do you have a gun? I said, I always have a gun. You called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. No. Like, hey, listen, in all seriousness, I'm done being a dick. You two, I appreciate. I'm going to try and mirror that energy next time. And, and I'm going to think about the way I handle it. And I appreciate y'all being chill. Like I said, you know, in the state of Florida, don't tell people you have a gun. You know, even if people are asking you, don't tell them. You know, it's none of their business. But this guy wants to make himself look like an idiot and be like, oh, you asked me. Well, no, you you said that you have a gun. And that is that's when it becomes illegal. And the funny thing is, is that the interaction they have after the fact, that police officer, you see him, that sheriff, he's walking up about to go talk to people and never investigated it, never. And once again, you can hear this guy, he just thinks he's all high and mighty. I've got one of nine ho or, you know, homes and blah, blah, blah. I got all this money and he's a council member that creates ordinances so that he can just kick people off the beach and the police don't do anything about it. Like, this guy is a dictator in the making and he's not even, the mayor yet he's just a council member and that's why I think it's important for anybody that wants to go to Bel Air Shores I will make another video about when I'm gonna go to their next council meeting and we'll we'll see what happens then and like I said if I can fish on their beach that day is gonna be a lot worse for them too but let's one last clip and then I'll finish this up I just thought this was going to be an interaction with some dickhead who just moved here and wants the beach to be private. At the time, I had no idea he was actually on the city council. I didn't know anything. I'm just curious as to how that happened so fast when he just moved in. And now we have a city council member brandishing firearms at people in public and getting away with it. Literally threatening and intimidating people with a gun. But as you can see, once the cop walked back over and we told him what happened, he said, what do you want me to do about it? Anyway, fun. thank you. He I said he's got a know, gun. Man. You can't be telling me that. What do you want me to do about it? I just wanted him to go away and leave us okay. alone. But when he's standing in front of me telling me he's got a gun, they I assume that as a threat. So I hollered for you. Did he make a threat towards you? I it felt like it. It felt like it. Yeah, if somebody what said it. I didn't tell him, you know, anything I, about I mean, guns. Started talking about guns, he, and then he was like, do you have a gun? He's like, I always have a gun, and it just got weird, and I don't know why he came back over here in the first place. Didn't you guys tell him not to come over here? Just do me a favor, take all your trash. Oh, I've all never, right. I picked up never. extra, too. Yeah. Yeah, I there was, in the, in there the was a right can of all I, It's all we do, man. Every day I'm out here, I pick up trash, I promise you. Yeah, we don't have any sprites, but Most I got this out of the sea dunes just to be respectful of where we're at. So, I don't want to like discourage you guys from coming into the shore, Beller Shores, but they're further down at like 6th Street. There's a nice little entrance right there. Yeah, I know. It's further down. Mm -hmm. Might try that one. I mean, legitimately, what is so hard about a police officer's job about doing something that they should be doing? Investigate friggin' the guy that just you know, made them feel like they were threatened with a gun because they he wanted them off the beach. Why not just tell the guy, go back into your home and leave him alone? And then, but the cop instead tells the people to move down and be like, oh, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. And it's like, why do, why, why would we have to, to move somewhere to accommodate somebody else's bullshit. What this council member is doing is complete garbage. And I don't know how he's getting away with it, other than the fact that he's a council member in the city or in the city of Bel Air Shores, and he'll continue to get away with it until somebody, until we all stand up against this person, you know? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just throwing shit out there because guess what? It's garbage. It's got this guy. Now, why is this an issue? Because I got in trouble at the exact same spot for having an umbrella, yet this guy can threaten people with guns and it's just fine. 
because he's on the city council. Do you think that if these cops didn't know who this guy was and he was just some random dude at the beach threatening people with a gun, or if it were me, that person would have gone to jail? I think so. And as someone who calls this place that this video was filmed, my home, I was born a couple blocks up the street. For the cop to talk the way he did about us picking up our trash and calling us out for trash being on the ground and then saying you could probably try that one basically in a very condescending tone telling us not to come back to the beach that I've been skimboarding at and hanging out at my entire life. It all just feels wrong. Man. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, what a jerk, man. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Hey, man. Have a good evening. I don't think I asked him if he had a gun. I think he supplied that information. The cops, there, then and there, on the spot, knew that this happened. They just chose not to deal with it. Why am I pointing this out? Because I got a ticket for having a f***ing umbrella in the exact same place that this guy brandished a firearm. What does that tell us? What have we learned here? Well, we've learned this guy can brandish weapons in public and the cops will do nothing about it. But if I put up an umbrella, they will write me a ticket. That to me feels like a problem and it feels like something that needs to be addressed and it feels like these cops are being either manipulated or influenced to do the things that they're doing. Um, if Bel Air Shores had a choice, they would be a sovereign state. Bel Air Shores and Bel Air Beach are two different places, two different cities, two different towns. Bel Air Shores being the people that own beachfront property. If you live one block across the street, you have way less rights to using the beach than the people that own beachfront property. Now, most people are not assholes like Daniel and don't kick people off of the beach every chance that they get. Most people are pretty cool and just want to live quiet lives. This guy is a different story. I tried to contact the city. I tried to contact everyone that I possibly could about this law. I looked into the mean high water line. I looked into erosion control. I called the city of Bel Air. I called Pinellas County. I called the state. I called everyone I possibly could have. Not one person seem to be able to give me an answer at where the line is between public and private property. And at the end of this, what I am getting at is that I we are noticing a lot of these council members, whether it be in Clearwater, Dalton, Colleen, wherever, this is a this is becoming a pandemic of these council members thinking they are dictators and they get to do what they want when it's not about what they want, it's about what we the people want. Some people live right there. They live in the town. But this one guy that's on the council can sit there and ruin everybody's ability to go to the beach with an umbrella or a canopy or whatever to enjoy the beach. You know, I will be going to I believe they have a meeting on February 23rd. Um, I will leave links in the description below. I believe they have one on the 23rd. I will not be able to make that one. I have prior obligations that I'm dealing with. But on their next meeting, I will be going. And I'm going to find out if I can fish off their beach. And if I can fish off that beach, I would love to see what they have to say about me fishing off the beach. But you guys know the deal. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. Um, make sure you go over to the Goog Squad. That link will be in the description. Uh, leave, leave them a comment. Let them know the armed fisherman sent you. Because you know something? He's got 5 million subscribers, and this video... It, it's only got like 60,000 views on it and for some reason I think it deserves way more and he deserves a lot of the respect for for him not being really he's an investigative journalist I'm not taking that away from him but that's not his big niche you know he's a surfer that's how I started watching him you know he was out in Puerto Escondido skimboarding I've seen a bunch of his videos of him skimboarding doing pranks out in Clearwater 
So I, I really appreciate what he does, but the fact that he didn't get half as many views that he should have, let's help him out. So, and I left out a lot of, lot of his video in this. So go over to the Goog Squad. That link will be in the description. Make sure you leave him a comment, let him know the Armed Fisherman sent you, and tell him I would love to go out and uh, go with him to a council meeting and uh, let them have a piece of our mind. But I'm out. Soli Ecker, deuces.